Yo, what up everyone, Awesome Adam here, and today we are going to get Alola Raichu, and here's a step-by-step -step on how to do it. So you're going to step into Route 1, and step into this specific patch of grass, and this is where we'll find the Pichus. Might take a couple of tries, but eventually it'll run right into one. Over here I just popped up it, and um, yeah, so I threw up my Pikachu, and... Basically, this is the area that you're going to be finding the Pichus around. Um, I'm going to show you again. Right now, I'm going to run away from the battle. And I'm going to run around the patch of grass again to show you guys that like this is a confirmed spot to get it from. Um, I already caught my Pichu a long time ago and raised it up to a Pikachu. So, I won't be like evolving another one because that's going to take a long time. But... Um, this is, I'm just showing you guys on how I did it and, and basically the steps on how exactly to reach that. So yeah, uh, this is second Pichu encountered it. Just to show you guys. It's pretty awesome for the fact that they allow you to get Pichu so early onto the game. And I was just excited for that. So I basically caught one as soon as I was able to get one. Um, as soon as I did, I remember that the ability is static. Um, allows the fact that outside of battle you can encounter electric Pokemon more often so let me show you that my Pikachu has it so if you were to catch one Pikachu and you keep linking up more and more Pikachus in the grass just keep running around there you'll keep encountering them more often I kept doing that till I got a Pikachu with a uh, modest nature now to get the Soothe Bell you will have to run in route 3 and you have to look for the hiker i'm just showing you guys exactly where to run because some people do confused on where to go and you're going to go up to this very specific hiker over here and this man here will give you the soothe bell the soothe bell allows for the pokemon to get friendlier um as you walk around and battle with them and whatnot the key is to make sure that your pichu throughout the journey does not faint because you will lose um, the friendship that you have with it or the level and uh, you want to make it as happy as possible so that it can level up to Pikachu um, what I also did was uh, did Pokemon refresh uh, basically like you know just feed it a bunch of snacks um, rub it like on its head or on its ears or whatever so I just basically fed it like some beans the green beans whatever it doesn't matter which ones you want to feed them and um, after that I usually rub it right underneath his neck because that's his favorite spot. Usually that's what I do. And uh, you see a bunch of hearts coming out. You do this, do that as every often as you can with your Pichu so that the friendship level goes up. That way you can work up from there. Um, it takes a while. There's not really a specific level where Pichu will level up to Pikachu. It just depends on how fast you get it to max up, to max up its friendship level. Um, then right after that you're going to go to Route 8. And go up to this specific area and you'll see a man in yellow standing over there you're gonna go into that specific route right there see I'm showing you guys right here specifically and I don't have to talk to him but basically he's just talking about fossils so you know in the right spot and then you're gonna actually go I just yeah it's behind this trailer actually right over here um, and then there should be a thunderstone right behind it and um, yeah, after, as at the point where you've reached where you were able to evolve your Pikachu into Pikachu and you have Pikachu ready to go, um, it just like every other game, you're able to use a Thunderstone on Pikachu and evolve him into the Alola Raichu. Alright guys, this is the moment we've been waiting for. Um, I'm finally going to cut my Alola Raichu. I waited to do this tutorial so that like basically I can get my own Raichu as well as you guys get to see on how to get it um, I hopefully this has been useful for you guys I'm just excited to finally have gotten one myself it took so long to evolve that freaking P Pichu you don't understand it took so long like I wish I had known to do these steps beforehand um, just to get my Pikachu because it took a while and as soon as this happens, um, uh, I finally get everything registered in my Pokedex, get the whole lineup. He, he looks awesome. He just looks amazing. Like, like he just looks so cool. Just finally have one. 
um, yeah, <laughs> anyways, um, yeah, so right now, actually, he is going to be able to learn the move, uh, Psychic, since it is part, um, Psychic now, and that's what I'm going to be doing right now, um, this is just a place where they think Spark, because Spark's a physical move, uh, physical, um, electric move, and, uh, yeah, and it's a modest nature, so obviously I wanted it for the, you know, the special attack, and, uh, yeah, that's basically it. Um, hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video. Hope everything helped you out on basically the progress on how to get it. Um, just to show you guys also uh, a summary on how it looks like. It has this uh, actually this cool uh, new ability as well called the um, Surge Surfer. Yeah, and um, basically what it allows you to do is uh, it doubles its speed and electric terrain. Uh, which is pretty awesome um, So I'm excited on you know how it's gonna be like with matches and whatnot um, Yeah, that's pretty amazing So I really hope you all enjoyed this video uh, drop a like below if you enjoyed uh, Hope you all have an awesome day. Make sure you subscribe. Peace